Chill Lit Workout. I'm Marcia, this is Jackie, and we are going to take you circuit training style and get a full body workout. What you'll need for this workout are some dumbbells from lightweight all the way to heavy, you choose. You're going to need some sliders right here. If you don't have sliders, you can always use towels on a slick surface. Socks. Yes, and if you don't have sliders, we can always show you a different way as well. You will need a resistant band. And then water. I'm just going to grab another dumbbell, but I told you right. So you're going to grab some water. All right, you ready to begin? I'm ready. Let's do this. Are, Are you ready? ready? Work out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do this. Okay, so we're going to warm up by doing a lunge. Just get that body ready. So we're going to take a leg back, and we're going to come into reverse lunge and bring it back to center. Take your lunge back. Bring it back to center. Good. Let me show you a couple variations because we're going to have beginner, intermediate, and advanced. When you bring the lunge down, you can just keep it stationary. <laughs> Jack is already two steps ahead. We're going to keep it down and up. So if you're brand new to lunging, you may want to do this. Kind of keep the stance short. Good. And up. And if you're advanced, you're going to bring it back up. Good. Down and back up. Then if you're really advanced, you're going to bring that knee up. Use that core. Bring the knee up and give it a kick, Jackie. Kick. Come on. <laughs> give it a kick. <laughs> Go at your level to have fun with it. We are just warming up. Go, Jackie. Go. I am warm. She's warm. <laughs> and then we're going to take it to the other side. Okay, good. Let's bring it back. Other leg. Remember, go at your range of motion. Let me show you real quick. Beginners, you're just going to go right here. To prep yourself for the lunge. Build that strength. Intermediates, you're just going to bring it back. In advance, you're actually going to take your knee up. Bring it back. Knee up. Bring it back. If you want a little more flexibility, a little more challenge to your core, you're actually going to kick that leg up. Bring it up and kick. Don't you just love the variations? Woo! Up a lunge. <laughs> Almost there. One more. You got it. Woo! Yes. Come on. That's all good. We're going to warm up. Yes. <laughs> all right. So we're going to go into a plie squat. We're going to work with the powerhouse the lower part first. You're going to have a very wide stance. Not too wide. Just a little bit more than hip width apart. Take your toes and turn at a 45 degree angle. And you're going to come down. You're going to come down slow and up. It takes a few to kind of get warmed up into it. You're going to bring it down and up. Now, I'm showing you on Jackie, if you're a beginner, just take a smaller, shorter plie stance. And if you're more advanced, you're going to bring it all the way down. Now, we're not going to use weights on this one for the first round. Just for the fact we're warming up. <laughs> Warm up the body, bringing it down and up. As you can tell, just on warm up, you get winded. You want to be winded. You get that blood flow to the muscles. One more. Woo! Woo! Good job. Wow, I'm good. <laughs> I ain't definitely warm. I know. Okay, so we're going to do a side squat. I want you to take your sliders. And what we're going to do is we're going to do, we're going to squat with one leg and we're going to slide with the other. And like you'll need a slick surface. If not, you'll have a towel. Put the towel underneath your toe. We're actually going to sit back into a chair, and this leg is going to be extended. So we're going to sit back, extend the leg, come up, down, and up. Now, if you're new to this, you don't want to go too fast because you're trying to build balance and stability. So it may be challenging. If you're brand new, let me just show you. Small squat, bring it out. Small squat, bring it out. Still very effective. I can still pull on my glute. And that's only at a quarter of the exercise, okay? Feeling a little adventurous, you're gonna bring it out. And of course, advanced, you're really gonna swing that leg out and you're gonna sit back in that chair. Okay, two more. Last one. Woo, switch sides. Ooh. How are you feeling, Jackie? I feel it. <laughs> this is just the warm up. <laughs> okay, let's take it to the other side. And sit in the chair, squat, and up. Squat. And up. Good. Yes. I hope you guys are feeling the burnout out there like we are. It doesn't matter how many times we've been in fitness for 15 years. And exercise is still burnt. It doesn't matter what it is. Yeah. 
whether it's light, medium, heavy, the burn is good. You guys embrace the burn. The burn is real. Yes. Just means you're getting strong. If you have that positive mindset, like burn is good, you'll embrace it a lot more. Yes. Almost there. One more. Bring it down. And up. Woo! All right. We're going to take it back to our mats. And we're going to do inchworm with four deep knee bends. All right. So we're going to take it down. Put our hands to the ground. Bend over, you're just gonna walk it out. Come into a plank, take one leg, put it forward, bring it back, the other leg forward, and back into the plank. You're gonna get a nice deep stretch in the hamstrings and the glutes, we do that four times, and then we're gonna bring it back up. Walk your hands back to your feet, and up. Going back to the ground, here we go. We are inch warming it back to the ground. We're going to stretch our quads, our hamstrings, and our glutes, and our hip flexors as we do this exercise. And we're gonna go back up and turn it back up. Woo! I swear this is like the same thing as a mild burpee. <laughs> it is. Okay, we've got two more left. Left and right. Bring it back. All right. All right. All right. Next, ladies, grab your band. We are going to do a chest press with the band. So with the band, you can. There's a couple ways you can do this. You can stand on it with one leg, and if you need a little bit more intensity, you just take it. You use both legs. You step on the band with both legs. So this chest press, we're going to have our hands down by our side, and you're going to squeeze your arm up and across your body, across the midline of your body. Release and then switch it over to the other side. Getting a good hold, tight squeeze. Release. Ready? Let's do it. Chest press it. Squeeze. Squeeze. Good. Working those pecs, your chest muscles. Ladies, it's really good. We want to tighten and tone our bodies. Weight training is so important, especially after the age of 30 because we lose bone density every decade. And the strength training that we're doing here in the LIP program is building our bones. It's building our muscles and it's building our bones. Our body's thanking us. Let's do one more on this side and one more on the other side. Boom. You got it. All right, let's go ahead and release it. We're going to take it down to the mat. We're going to do a chest fly. You're going to grab your weights. You can use your light weights or the heavy weights. You're going to roll it down. There we go. All the way on our back. Hands are up above our chest. And you're going to open your arms, dropping your elbows towards the mat, and then you're going to squeeze your chest to bring your hands back up to the top. Our palms are facing one another, so you're going to open your arms, dropping the elbows down to the ground, and then you're going to exhale and squeeze as you bring it up. Ready? Let's go, ladies. You're opening and squeeze, press it up. But again, we always talk about that mind-muscle connection. And I really want you to think about squeezing your chest as you squeeze and bring your arms back up to the top, over your chest. Squeeze. You got this. Try to keep that core nice and tight, even though we're laying on the ground. Let's do two more. Open, squeeze. Last one, open your arms and squeeze them down. Excellent. We're gonna go ahead and drop those weights. We're gonna sit it up to a seated position. Grab your bands again. We're going to do a seated row with an upright row. So your legs are extended out in front of you. Now ladies, if you're a little bit tighter and this position is hard for you, grab a, grab a yoga block, grab a pillow, and you'll just sit up on it, and that makes it a little bit easier for your back. So with the bands, you're going to wrap it around your feet, and you can cross it over or you can just leave it straight, it doesn't matter. And then you can grab the handles or just right underneath the handles. If you shorten the distance on that strap or on that band, it's gonna make it more difficult. So for this, you're going to squeeze your elbows back, doing a seated row, squeezing in between your shoulder blades, release it, and then you're gonna bring it to an upright row, elbows are up. Ready, let's do this. I'm gonna show you on Marcia how it works. So you squeeze, release, upright row. Now in here, we're really working our back, 
the back of our shoulders as well, up here at the back of the shoulder, and you're squeezing. Squeeze in between that shoulder blade and then squeeze. Elbows are up. That's the key. Elbows are coming in by your side, and now you're squeezing and lifting your elbows up to shoulder height. Good. Let's do a couple more. Squeeze. You got it. Great form. We're going to do one more on each one. Seated row. And up. Excellent. Good. Go ahead and release it. Shake it out. Shake it out. Now we're going to take it back up. We're going to do a shoulder press so you can grab your light or your medium weights. And with this, we just shoot the arms up and release them down. Press them up, release them down. Ready? Let's do this. Boom. Press up. Now, we have lighter weights, but it doesn't mean we're working less hard. You can adjust the weights, do what you need to do, but you're really, really thinking about squeezing the shoulders up. Also, while keeping them relaxed, and we're not having our shoulders up towards our ears, relaxing them down, but squeezing the shoulders up, and you're really going to feel that burn. Excellent. I feel it. I feel it too. Good, let's do two more. Here's one. And two. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I know. Burn, bigger burn. <laughs> Every time you have like a little image, you like to do a little dance to shake it off. <laughs> I love our dance breaks. I do too. <laughs> okay, you're going to grab your bands. We're going to pick it up. We're going to do some bicep curls. This time we're going to do single bicep curls. So we are going to step on our band. Now if you want more resistance, you're going to make sure it's shorter, the shorter the band, the harder it is to pick it up. So what we're going to do is just your arm, you want to feel some tension so you actually feel it. And you're going to bring your, up, your arm up and curl and then release slowly, right? You ready? Oh, Jack is yes. nice. <laughs> We are doing a single bicep curl. We are doing curls for the girls. <laughs> I feel like my guns are popping. Jackie does have good arms. Your guns are probably popping. <laughs> Woo. Woo. Here we go. Good. Remember if it's not, I was saying resistant enough, make sure you step on that band, make it shorter. One more. Awesome, bring it down slow. Okay, we're gonna switch to the other side. Step on that band, get a little play around with it for a second, and then we're gonna bring that arm up, curl, keep the core tight, and release slowly. Good, bring it up and curl. Remember, slow and controlled. You're always gonna hear me talk about mind-muscle connection. I don't want you flowing through the exercise. If you have great form, chances are you're going to build amazing, beautiful muscles. If you have bad form, you're taking shortcuts. You just may need to basically drop some weight, <laughs> make it a little easier until you become stronger. That's what it's all about. It's about being strong, whether it's physical body or your mental health. Okay, one more. Bring it up and squeeze. Good. Okay, so we're going to take our band and we're just going to roll our handle where it looks like this, it's straight. And then we're going to step on it. We're going to do tricep overhead extension. So we're going to step on it, giving it enough give to where we are able to do a tricep extension. And what you're going to do when you step on it is reach that arm long and extend. Bring that tricep back slow and controlled. Bring it up and squeeze. So you want to make sure you get a great squeeze on the back of the tricep. Here you go, the back of the arm. And just squeeze up. Remember, bands can kind of be one of those exercises where it will fling you back down. Really have control on the way down as you do on the way up. Look at Jackie's triceps. Really? Woohoo! <laughs> she's, she's surprised. <laughs> Two more. Come on, bring it up and squeeze. Last one. And Ooh. squeeze. I pulled that one. I did too. All Maybe. right, we're going to bring it to the other side. Same thing. So make sure you step on your band. Uh oh, it's getting way like a snake. It's like, it's like a garden hose. <laughs> okay, here we go. And you want to make sure there's enough resistance. Bring it up. We're able to have a little tension when you bring it down. Up. Bring it down. Slow and control. Bring, make sure you have that squeeze at the top of the exercise. That makes the biggest difference. Squeezing and really focusing on that muscle. Really feel the difference. I know. 
in this resistant band wants to pull you down fast, fight it. I want you to fight that. I want you to bring that arm up, squeeze, slowly fight it down. Come on, for three, one more, two, and I kid you, one more. <laughs> With trainers, there's always one more, and one more. <laughs> I always say this, you can't, trainers can't count, guys. We just can't. So just that why not. That is so true. No. I've always had trainers and I'm like, you just said five more and I'm doing 20,000. <laughs> I do that all the time. Yeah. But that's how we push you. So just know that. <laughs> okay, we're gonna take it down to the ground to a floor bridge. This is one of my favorites. So grab your bands. We're gonna put it around our legs on the top of the upper part by your knees. And then we're going to lay down. And what you're going to do is you're going to roll up your glutes, squeeze your core, squeeze your glutes, and then to make sure your core's tucked and release down slowly. So you're going to do that again. Bring it up, squeeze, and release. Now you're also, with this band, when you come out on your floor bridge, oh, you can feel that burn yes, in your quads. Do you feel that burn, Jackie? Yes, girl. <laughs> burn, baby, burn. <laughs> Again, this is a very small but mighty exercise, but it's super effective at building and toning the glutes. Woo! Now this is our first warm up of the floor bridge series. So this one, we're not gonna have any weight, but as soon as we get to the second <laughs> the circuit, we're gonna have some weight. Mm -hmm. Okay, two more. Up, last one, and up. Okay, so we're gonna take the band you can take it off or put it at the bottom of your ankles. We'll just take it off. And we're going to do butterfly lifts. So you're going to butterfly your leg. Your feet, the bottom of your feet, are going to touch and be together. And we're going to lay down, hands down, and then we're going to lift our glutes. We're going to squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. This is called a butterfly lift. These are so good for the touch. <laughs> They're so good for the tush, but I also feel it in my inner thighs. Oh, yeah. So it's very effective. Again, another small but mighty effective glute <laughs> mm -hmm. exercise. A few more. Come on, bring it up and squeeze. Just as high as you can go. Two. Last one. Woo! Two Ooh. more. And one. Uh, oh, woo. All right, ladies, from here we're going to do some butterfly crunches. So we leave our legs just the way they are. Hands come behind the neck, just gently cradle your head. And what we're going to do is we're going to exhale, squeezing as you lift your shoulder blades off the mat, and then release it down. Ready? Let's go. Exhale and inhale. Now on your oblique crunches, ladies, I want you to think about pressing your lower back down towards the mat. I have a big arch in my back, and this is like one of the hardest things for me to do. But you really do want to try and concentrate, keeping that lower back down on the mat, and then squeezing the core as you lift up. And always exhale as you lift up. We're going to do two more here. It's one. Good. Exhale, last one. Excellent. From here, we're going to do a right crunch, so for our right oblique crunch, we're going to draw our knees to the right side of our body, and we're just going to crunch it up and lower down. Lift up and lower down. Let's go. Up and down. Exhale, inhale. Really working your obliques, the side of your body. And you want to think about, you're like really not even holding your head and neck up. You're just crunching up and your head is just gently relaxing into your hands. Good, keep it going, how are you feeling at home? Good, let's do two more. One, and last one, knees come up, and let's drop it over, drop the knees over to the left side. We're gonna do the same thing, ready? Let's go. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Squeeze the side body, excellent. Ladies, we're so proud of you for showing up again today. You're so amazing. We love working out with you. You have made our day. Exhale, good. Keep it going. Woo! Right? I'm feeling it. I know. Two more. Here's one. And two. Good. Go ahead and release it. From here, let's just roll it over. We're going to take it to a plank. 
You can go on, your plank can either be on your forearms or on your wrists, whichever you prefer. I'm going to be on the forearms. And from here, we're going to hold the plank, but then we're going to do knee taps. You're actually just going to hover, hover, I can't even say, hover your knees over the mat and then extend them out. So you bend and extend. Ready? Let's go. We're working that entire core, really squeezing. Try not to have that butt up in the air. You want to have it low and basically parallel to the mat. Breathing. Ooh, how are you feeling, Marcia? I'm feeling it. <laughs> Good, keep it up. We're almost there. I am feeling it too. Good, let's do two more knee taps. It's one and two. Go ahead and release it down. We're going to take it all the way down to the mat. Two more exercises for this round, and then we get to do it all over again times three. <laughs> right? So let's do Superwoman. So with the Superwoman, our arms and our legs are extended out. We're going to lift everything up off the ground and then release it down. So we lift, we hold it, and then release. Ready? Here we go. Squeeze up, relax it down. Squeeze and hold, relax it down. Now ladies, when I used to do this on my own, I would try and like go fast through this. And Marcy was always like, no, slow down, slow down. You gotta squeeze and hold. Lift and hold, it makes a big difference. Good. Keep it going. You're almost there. Squeeze, contract that core. Two more, and last one, last exercise of this round, we're gonna do swimmers. For swimmers, opposite arm and leg are gonna come up, and then they're gonna relax down, and you're gonna switch, you're gonna alternate sides. And here, we'll go ahead and I'll demonstrate with Marcia. So notice how she holds it up for just a, a second, and then she alternates sides. So we're not going super, super fast. Ready? Here we go, let's go. So you're lifting up and lowering, lifting up and lowering. And you see, Marcia's got the best lower back. And she's really squeezing here. This is her core. This is part of our core. Keep job. <laughs> <laughs> but we're getting, she's getting a really good squeeze there. And notice how she holds. Like it's really super important that we do hold it. We squeeze, we contract. We've got a couple more. Marcia, you're doing great. You're doing great at home. We're going to do one more on each side. There's one. And two. Yes, yes, yes. Girl, we made it through one round. <laughs> Yay. This is where we grab water. <laughs> yes, we're going to take a break, grab some water, hydrate. It's always important to hydrate before, during, and after your workouts. And there is a study that say you actually drink more water when you are consistent at working out. You actually drink more water. You know that 75% of the U.S. is dehydrated. 75%. 75%. Y'all, that's way too many. So drink up. <laughs> not our tribe. Y'all are not. That's right. Not our tribe. Not dehydrated. <laughs> We're going to remind you to drink your water. All right, you guys ready for round number two? Woo! Can't wait. Let's do this. Let's do Come on. High five. <laughs> We're going to take it back into that lunge. All right? So we're going to bring it back into the lunge and back to center. Lunge Woo! to center. Remember, if you're a newbie or you're just getting back into working out, I want you to stay at the stationary lunge to build up strength. And if you're in intermediate or advanced and you're feeling a little strong today, you're going to give it a kick. Bring it down and kick. You're going to use that core, those legs. <laughs> Woo! It's almost more painful to do it on the leg that you're standing on. It is. Let's dig it into the glutes. Okay, two more. Last one. Woo! Switching sides. Here we go. Lunge it back and up. Back and up. Woo! Feel the heart rate. Right? It's getting there. Lunges are one of my favorite staples. Just one of those exercises that you just feel strong. When you take that time off, then you get back into it, you're like, why did I stop lunging? Right? <laughs> why did I stop lunging? Okay, three more. And two. And last one. Yes, girl. Woo! Shake it out. Okay, we're gonna do plie squats. You're gonna bring it open. This time.
time you're going to push yourself. You can grab a weight and bring it down. So let's grab our weights. Grab a little weight. Yeah. Let's add a little weight today. And let's go plie and up. Plie and up. Good. Remember your ABCs. Abs tight. Blades back. Chest up. And make sure you're squeezing those glutes on the way to the top. Like Jackie says, a little penny. Make sure you're squeezing it. Pinch penny. Pinch penny. Don't drop that penny. <laughs> and three, two, one more for good measure. Yeah. And up. Woo. All right. Getting that heart rate up. Grab your sliders or your towel. Move to the side. Remember, we're going to do our, sl our slide squats. <laughs> so we're going to slide and squat. Bring it up. Slide and up. Good. Woo! Oh, I'm already feeling them. In that first Woo. round. I mean, it's so cardiovascular. Anytime you add legs to your workout, it's such a powerhouse. Your glutes and your legs. Yeah. That every single time, I don't care how fit you are, your heart rate is up. We got two more, and then we'll switch. One. Good. Other side. Woohoo. Burn, baby, burn. <laughs> Bring it down and up. Down and up. Breathe the movement. You can breathe in and out. In and out. Keep it going. You got it. Don't give up on yourself. I know you're feeling that burn. Keep burning. Woo. And three. You got the two more. Yes, girl. Last one. Shake it out with the dance party. Yes. Woo! <laughs> okay, we're gonna take it to the mat for inchworm. So bring your hands down to the ground. We'll stretch out those hamstrings, come into a plank. Then stretch your legs, bring it back, stretch the other side, back, each side one more time. Give you that deep stretch, and then we're going to bring it back to the top. And up. Here we go. Down to the ground. Legs long. Just go wherever your legs will let you go today. Some people think I'm flexible, but I have long legs. <laughs> You're just going to bring it up. Woo! We've completed it short. Oh. Oh, <laughs> my God. Jackie's ready to go. I got a one. I'm so glad. Jackie likes that exercise. All right. Let's grab our bands, ladies. We are going to do a chest press. So you stand wherever is good for you. Hands are down by the side, and we start. Here we go. Right arm crosses over the left. Let's go. Squeeze. Squeeze. Yes, yes. Feels so good. Squeeze it, girls. Woo! Working our chest. I love working chest. That's <laughs> our plant chicks ball cry. Yes. Woo! This we know it's getting hard. <laughs> Give us a woo one. out there. Yeah, that's you. <laughs> Excellent. One more each side. Here's one and two. Excellent. All right, now we're going to drop it down to the mat. Grabbing your light or medium weight, we're going to do that chest fly. So you got the weights. Roll it down on your back. Arms come up above our chest. Ready? Let's open them up. It's open. Squeeze them shut. Open. Squeeze them shut. And again, really thinking about squeezing your chest muscles together to, to close your arms up above you. Keep it going. You're inhaling and exhaling. Feeling oh so good. Oh yes, I can feel it stretch. Oh, feels yes. good. Let's do two more. Here's one and two. Excellent day. All right, grab those bands. Seated row. Oh, yes. Seated row to upright row. That was confusing. When I'm oh, going. <laughs> that's good. You've got to be careful. Be really careful. <laughs> and if you need more resistance, you make the band a little bit shorter. All right, so we remember we're alternating from the seated row to the upright row. There we go. Let's see how Marcia wraps. 
wraps the band around one of her shoes. It's, it helps so if the band comes off your knuckle band, it's not going to fly in your face. All right, <laughs> let's do it. Seated row to an upright row. And remember when you're doing this, we want you to keep your core nice and tight. Exhaling as you pull your elbows back. Think about squeezing those shoulder blades together. And on that upright row, keeping those elbows in line with your shoulders. Such a great exercise that feels so amazing on your back. Love, love this exercise. Good, let's do one more in each direction. And you'll end when you finish that last. Woo! Right. All right, we're gonna stand it up, grab your weight. We're gonna take it into shoulder press. All right, so you have your weights. We're gonna go into shoulder presses. Ready, arms are out to the side. You don't wanna drop your elbows too much lower, lower than your shoulders. So you're gonna press your arms up and down. Let's get it. Squeeze, press them up. Again, thinking of that mind-muscle connection is really, really important because even these light three-pound weights don't feel so light. <laughs> nope, they don't. They don't. But you can also take it up a little bit heavier because we're doing about 30 seconds on each exercise. So if you want to increase the weight at your next round, we encourage you to do that. Good, we're gonna do two more. Here's one and two. Woo! All right, shake it out. All right, so we're gonna grab our bands and we're gonna go to bicep curls. So we're back to this again. And we're just gonna remember a single arm bicep curl. So you're gonna step on there create the resistance that you would like for the day. And you're gonna bring it up and squeeze, release. Squeeze, release. Remember, slow and control on the way down. That way you have all the control <laughs> of this exercise. Look at Jackie, what a show off <laughs> Go Jackie, go. <laughs> Ooh, I feel it. <laughs> right? Arms are one of my favorite ones to work though. Even though I don't have the most sculpted arms, Jackie has amazing arms. We all have, have our genetic blessed. Might happen to be on legs, but yes. <laughs> one more. Let's bring it up and squeeze. Ooh. Good. We're gonna go to the other side. Here we go. Bring it up. Squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. Just give it a nice straight flow right through it. Remember, if it's too hard, you're going to release it just a little bit. Sometimes these bands take a little bit just to adjust, but once you get it just right, you're like, yes. That's one of the things I love about the bands, because you can make it easier or a lot harder just right. by shortening the band or whatever. Agreed. And two, one more, and one. Good. Okay, so remember the triceps. You're going to take the band, and you're going to make it long on the handle part. You're going to step on it. Bring it behind you. Oops, that may be a little too much, so you'll, you'll be able to know. <laughs> Your tricep will be screaming. <laughs> okay, so then we're going to go ahead and we're going to squeeze up straight and bring it back. So our overhead tricep extensions. Squeeze, release. Squeeze, release. Remember to keep your core tight. Bring your game face. You got this. Think, I got this. Bring it back. And squeeze. Embrace the squeeze. Yes. The burn. Feel the burn. Nice burn. Yes. Got three more. Two. Last one. Woo! Switch Woo! sides. God, I love that one. I know. I do too. Let's build those arms. Okay. Other side. Bring it up and squeeze. Remember, have control on the way down. I know it's easy to just pull the resistant band, just bring it back down so fast, but you need to have that control because you are in charge of this workout. And squeeze. I know it's tiny little muscle. Got that nice burn. Woo! Almost there. And three. Squeeze for two. Last one. Woo! Done! With that. <laughs> woo, woo, woo! No. Okay, so we're going to bring it down to the ground again for uh, floor bridging. Oh, wait, wait. God, can't forget this. we got to make it hard. <laughs> It'd be way too easy if I did that. Jackie, don't let me get out of that. No, I <laughs> She won't let me live it down. 
All right, some floor bridging. Remember, squeeze the glutes, bring it up, really slow. Bring it up and squeeze, and release. Squeeze, and release. Good. Remember to have that mind-muscle connection where you're squeezing the glutes, like Jack says, pinch in the penny, <laughs> and release. Keep it still the core tight. You want to make sure you put focus that you're not letting your core hang. You want to make sure your core is tight. Always think belly button to the spine. Yes. Yes, and just want to bridge your body. That's why it's called a floor bridge. You want to bridge it up. Two more. Last one. Good, we're gonna take this off and we're gonna butterfly. So we're gonna take our feet, the bottom of our shoes where feet will touch together, we're gonna butterfly our legs, and then we're gonna bring it up and squeeze. Release and squeeze. I can feel this in my inner thigh. So much. <laughs> Side of my glute. <laughs> so can I. <laughs> Make sure that you need to put your hands on the floor for stability or you can put your elbows for stability, and that way it can help you push into the ground as you lift and squeeze. There we go, lift and squeeze. And I feel like every time I do this, it gets shorter and shorter. Just go your range of motion where your body will allow you to go. And squeeze, there we go. <laughs> Getting close. Three, two, and one. Excellent, oh. hands come behind the neck. We're gonna do some oh. butterfly sit-ups. Ready, let's go. Squeeze it up, release it down. Again, just like Mercy was saying, think about pressing your belly button down towards your spine, and your spine, your lower back, should be pressed into your mat. Exhaling as you lift up. Squeeze and exhale. Always on that contraction is when you exhale. You got this, girl. How you feeling at home? Exhale, good. Good, let's do two more. Here's one. And last one. Now we take it to those obliques. Take the knees over to the right. And we're going to lift it up. Let's go. Exhale and inhale. Squeezing it up. Working the side of our body. Whew. Oh, I'm feeling it. <laughs> no, and I'm warm. How are you feeling, Marcia? Yes. Excellent day. It was cold in the studio. I know it's a little tad. Toasty in here. <laughs> Question, do you guys turn your AC down a lot when you do workouts at home? We want to know. Good, let's do two more on the side. Here's one and two. Great. Now bring the knees up. Take them over to the other side. Hit it. Up and down. Oh, feels good in the back, too. It does. It's like a stretch and a contraction. <laughs> at the same time. It's like a little gift of magic to our body right here. <laughs> it's like awake now. <laughs> right? Yummy, yummy, yummy. Good, let's do a few more. There's two. And the last one. Let's go ahead and take it over to our plank. Again, your plank, you can be either on your elbows or on your wrists. And you're gonna bend the knees down and press them back, just like a gentle knee tap or hover the knees over. Good, keep it going. Knees are coming up and down. Excellent, excellent. And notice how Marcia, her tushy is not like all the way to the ceiling. She's got a nice, she's nice and parallel with that mat. And the knees just hover right above the mat and then she presses them back. Strong, strong core. Working everything in there. Good, how y'all feeling? Marcia is slaying it. <laughs> Keep it going, ladies. Good, you got this. Let's do two more. And last one. Go ahead and drop it all the way down to the mat. We're going to do those super women. Let's do it. Let's go. So it's up and down. Lift up, release down. Now, again, when you're doing this, remember to pause and hold it at the top. Squeeze and hold at the top. Keep it going. You're squeezing that core, your lower back. Marcia, literally, like this is your body part, Marcia, that is like, that it's beautiful. You should see how sculpted it is because she does so many of these. We're gonna do two more. There's one, 
two, and take it right into swimmers. Going proud, I'm proud of the superman. <laughs> Superwoman, I just like. No, and this is one of the things. Like whenever I had to do a core workout when Marcy was training me for the fitness competition, literally any core workout, we always, she always had me do Superwoman and these swimmers. These are amazing, and this is this is like one of her favorite core exercises to do. Remember, core is not just the front of your body, it's the back as well. So keep it going, Marcy, you're doing awesome. Ladies, you're doing amazing at home. We've got two more, one on each side. Yes, 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 yes. Great job, ladies. <laughs> All right, that's round two, my friend. Oh my goodness, yes, here we go. <laughs> Give yourself a high five. Yes. <laughs> okay, grab some water, and we are going to hydrate. Let's give yourself a good like 20 to 30 second rest here. I say ish. Mm, feels so good. I'm gonna hydrate. If your, your heart rate is still up, which it shouldn't be, we just have the Superman's a swimmer, that's kind of take it down a little bit because we're about to bring it back up. Oh, yes, you guys remember those are. lunges? We're gonna take those lunges back one more time. You know what? I'm gonna add weights this time to the lunge. Let's do it. Amp it up a little bit. Amp it up. Remember, you can always take your lunges if you want. Have your weights? You really You're gonna grab it. <laughs> oh yeah. You ready? <laughs> 30 seconds. Let's do this. Then we're gonna bring it back and up. Back and up. Now when you're lunging with heavier weights, you may not be able to kick your leg. You may or may not. The choice is up to you. But if this weight is heavy and you want to focus on form, you want to make sure you have great form to build nice strong legs. Yes. Woo! Okay, we got three more. Two. Last one. Awesome. We're going to switch sides. So we're going to bring it back. Here we go. Lunge and back to center. Woo! -hoo. You can even wear a weighted vest. Oh. Think about the possibilities of adding weight to your lunges. This already deepens, so this is an extra 20 pounds compared to when I first started up the warm up or used a high kick. So think about your own personal strength. How strong, how strong are you getting with each one? We got one more. Woo! And you're done. Woo! With that. <laughs> Here you go, Jack. I know you want to use that. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> I got a clean spot. Okay. Open your legs wide, 45 degree angle, grab a weight, and you're gonna bring it down. And up. I'm feeling it. Oh, that cardiovascular is no joke. I know, but I feel it in my inner thighs from all those butterfly lifts and these lunges. I'm feeling it, ladies. We're Ooh. doing this right here with you. We are. We're Ooh. feeling it with you, too. Usually, after these exercises, we're sore for a day or two. It's always great when you have to wake up first thing in the morning. And go use restroom. <laughs> Everybody knows what happens after you use your legs. <laughs> and three, two more, bring it down. Last one. Woo! That feels good. Okay. All right. So we're gonna do our slide squats. Yes. I almost forgot for a second. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna go into your slide. So bring it down and slide. Remember, you can always. Have a weight, hold a weight, a medicine ball, or a dumbbell to make this heavier. You can even wear a weighted vest. The possibilities are truly endless. Y'all are in beast mode if you're adding a weight to this. Beast mode! <laughs> or plant chicks mode. Yes, plant chicks mode. But really, what workouts, people think, oh, they discount it. You got two more. One. Bring it up. And they don't realize how tough it can be. Okay, here we go, other side. Bring it down and up, down and up. But the beauty about it is you get to control how much weight you need. Are you feeling strong today? Are you not feeling that strong today? Really, it is like workout intuitive. You get to be intuitive in your workouts, yeah. seeing how you feel. Almost there, you got it. Down and up. Two more. Last one. Woo. Kick it away. Take it to inchworm. 
So we're going to bring it down to the ground. Get on those hands into a plank. Stretch those legs. Bring it back. Stretch. Back. Stretch. And last one. You're going to inch it back up. And release. <laughs> bring it back down. You got this. It's all about building strength. Woo. Right. Get core strength. You're getting shoulder strength. Last one. Last side. You got this. And twirl it back up. Woo! Yes. All right, ladies. Grab that band. Grab your band. We're going to step on it with both feet. We're taking it to the chest press. Remember, hands stay down by your thighs. And you're going to cross it over right and left. Oh, squeeze. Really squeeze the chest, crossing it over the midline of your body. And if you need to make this a little bit more difficult, you take your feet a little bit wider apart on the band so you've got more resistance on that band. Woo! Yeah. Feeling it. Feeling it. Good. We're going to do one more on each side. Here's one. And two. Excellent. Drop that band. Grab your weights. You can have your light, medium, heavy weights. We're going to stand up and do the shoulder press. You got you. Yeah. <laughs> Change it up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Grab your weights. Light, medium, and heavy. We're going to start with those uh, shoulder presses. Here we go. Squeeze it up and down. And remember, as so whenever we're standing and just standing on both feet, you can always up the ante a little bit and just stand on one leg to increase the neuromotor uh, portion of the workout. This is really good. Squeeze here, at least. Oh yeah, remember, really think about those muscles in your shoulders, squeezing them nice and tight. Good, let's do two more. Here's one and two. Excellent. Go ahead and have a seat. We're going to take it down to a chest fly. All right. Weights are up above your chest. You open up and squeeze them together. Ah, yes. Oh, ladies, how are you feeling? I'm feeling strong. How are you feeling, Marcia? I'm feeling good. Got the, <laughs> got the hard part of it. Exactly. <laughs> Those legs, they kick my tushy. <laughs> you got the best seat in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, there's not enough resistance, you want to step on it. 
And you guys, I know you can push yourself and add a little more resistance. Come yes. on. Don't cheat yourself. Sometimes we cheat ourselves and we think, ah, oh, we we're comfortable that way, right? But if you don't cheat yourself and you push through the toughness, the hardness, and everything that comes with it, you'll come out stronger. Two more. And last one. Woo! All right, so you're gonna grab your handle and turn it straight, and we're gonna take it behind for overhead triceps. So here we go. Bring it up and squeeze. Release. Squeeze and release. This one is short. <laughs> I up the ante on this round. <laughs> oh yeah. Ooh, feeling good. It's always good to push yourself that last set, those last few reps. Really put the work in. You got it. Few more. Come on. Squeeze it up. Two more. Yes. Last one. Squeeze. Woo. Other side. Are you feeling strong, Jackie? I'm not even feeling strong. I'm feeling like a nap. <laughs> <laughs> we like to nap too. Don't give away your secret. Right? <laughs> the secret to the blend of life. <laughs> Sleeps and naps. Yes. Good, you guys, just keep squeezing up and releasing slowly down. Do not let that resistant band pull you down. You are going to guide it down. Good. Feel that burn. You're building nice, strong arms. You gotta use those arms. Yes. You got three more. Woo! Two more. You got it. And one. Woo! <laughs> Okay, that arm series is done. We're going to take it back down to the floor. We're going to do floor bridging. So go ahead and get your bands on. Awesome. Bring it down to the ground, and we're going to bring our glutes. Squeeze it up and release. Squeeze and release. Woo! And you guys can always put a weight on your hips for added resistance. There's always ways to amp it up. Always. You can have your kid on you. <laughs> That's true. That's a really good point. Or if you have a very large dog. <laughs> My dog's only eight pounds. Not to say that would work, but I'm not sure he would like to be thrown around like that. <laughs> All right, you got two more. Last one, and up and squeeze. Good. Take the bands off. We're going to go into butterflies. All right, we're going to butterfly our legs, feet together, use your arms for stability, and we're going to go up, down, and up. This is almost like a shot to the inner thighs of the glutes. <laughs> oh, <yes. laughs> Did you feel the pinch? Yes! <laughs> My inner thighs are on fire. <laughs> it is amazing <laughs> what three rounds of something will do to yes. you. <laughs> and up. Uh, oh, I have a love-hate relationship with this. <laughs> Mostly love. I love it after. Yes. <laughs> and the results after. I love the results. Good. We're almost there. Two more. Last one. And squeeze. Good. Now bring the hands behind your head. We're taking oh. it to that crunch. Butterfly crunch. Squeezing up. Releasing down. And when you're doing your crunches, remember you're just gently holding your head and your neck in your hands. And you want to think about being able to put a fist in between your chin and your chest. So you want to avoid having your chin tucked into your, towards your chest. Good. Squeezing and lifting up. Squeeze and lift up. Good, keep it going. Two more. Here's one. And the last one, go ahead and take your knees over to the right side and we're going to start with those oblique crunches. Lifting up and releasing down. Love working the side body. Whittling in our waist. I'm feeling. Oh, yes. Squeeze and contract. Ladies, you're doing amazing. Amazing, amazing. Go Crazy to. amazing. <laughs> I love that. Crazy amazing. Squeeze up, release down. Two more. There's one. And two. Good. Bring the knees up and over to the other side. And let's get it going. Ooh, feels so, so good. Really working that 
core. You know, we use our core in everything. And that's why Marcy and I like to add some kind of core workout in pretty much all the routines that we do, all the workout programs that we do. Core is good for stability. Good. Everything about core. One and two. Excellent. Let's take it over to that plank. So you're coming up on your forearms or onto your hands. And we tap the knees down towards the ground and then release them back. Knees down and back. I want you to think about relaxing your shoulders. Relaxing your head and neck so you don't want to drop your head and your neck down or lift them up. You want it nice and neutral. Good ladies. You got this. Core is nice and tight. And you're really feeling this in your hip flexors as well. Good, two more. Here's one. And last one. Go ahead and lower it all the way down. For our final two exercises, Superman and Spider, yeah, Superwoman, lifting up and lowering down. Good. Remember, squeezing and holding at the top. Getting our lower back to look like Marcia. <laughs> Marcia's gold. <laughs> We're going to do a close-up. We'll have to do a little picture. <laughs> and you'll see. We always want what we can't have. That's right. I want Jackie's arms. <laughs> Good. Squeeze, lift up. Two more, ladies. Here's one. And last one. Taking it into our final exercise, swimmers. Lifting the opposite arm and opposite leg. Dropping it down and switching sides. Squeezing at the top, pulling and taking a little pause. You got this. We are almost there. Woo! Let's go, let's go. We have it in us. Good, ladies. Let's do one more on each side. Here's one and last one. Excellent. Let's push it back up into a uh, child's pose. Holding it here. Oh, getting a nice good stretch. I want you guys to keep holding this posture. And think about, this is my favorite pose, and having someone coming and massaging their hands and pressing your hips down a little bit more. Feels like heaven. <laughs> does. Getting a nice little massage in that back. Oh, it feels so good. Excellent job, ladies. Marcy is going to take us through some more stretches. Okay, we're going to take it down to the ground on our backs. And we're going to take one knee into our chest. And we're going to stretch it in. Yummy. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes it's just, a lot of people skip the stretching part. And you guys, so rewarding at the end. It's so necessary. Because we've been contracting our muscles this entire workout, and now we need to lengthen them back out. Good. Okay, release that. We're going to switch legs. Other side. Woo! Yes. That feels good. Yeah. I can tell my hip flexors are sore from doing all those lunges and squats. <laughs> it's much needed. My inner thighs. But my inner thighs are so on fire. I know, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to take it to a figure four stretch. You're going to release your leg down. We're going to cross, bring your knees up. You're going to cross your leg over your ankle. And you're going to weave your fingers through. And you're going to hold the other leg. And you're going to stretch. Yes. This feels so amazing. It's one of my faves. <sighs> oh, yeah. Think about how good you did today, how you made it through. You should be very, very proud of yourself. We know we're proud of you guys. Very proud. I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of myself too, but you guys inspire me to keep going. Jackie, you inspire me. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> we inspire each other, so it's really good. We're going to switch sides and cross your legs through. Weave your arms through. Grab your back of your knee or your leg. Pull, just pull as much as you can. Like my favorite, one of my favorite. Like exercises mm -hmm. besides pigeon, yeah, the stretches, uh, crazy amazing, mm -hmm. awesome. 
just going to go back and forth a little bit. Let's go ahead and release that. And then we're going to take both knees to the chest. And we're going to massage her back just a little bit. There we go. Just taking a small, little, tiny swivel to the left. And then you want to change directions. And you're going to reverse it to the right. Woo. This was a great workout. Yeah, so it's always a great way to start your week, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to roll it up. Two more stretches, and we're going to be done with this. Okay, let's bring it up. And we're going to take some to the old triceps. I want to bring our triceps back, and we're going to give it a nice stretch. This feels good, too. Yes. It's like that resistant band did right. some damage. <laughs> We need to give it some love back <laughs> and release. We're going to take it to the other side. Awesome. Nice stretch over here. So this time when you go on without your day, you're going to conquer it strong. You just physically put yourself and mentally through an awesome, crazy, amazing lit workout. We're going to bring it down. And then what I want you to do is take your hands, put it back. Clasp your hands behind you. Stretch on that chest and your biceps. This will be our last stretch of the day. Grateful that you had joined us. Grateful that you showed up for it today. And release one more time. We're going to bring our hands down over our head and breathe. Blow it out. How do you feel? Feeling good, feeling great. Thank you for showing up today. We will see you guys for the next workout.